Drawing Structure Models Before shapes can be displayed in animation on the structure model, the following steps must be carried out. 1. Draw or import a model of the structure. 2. Import measurement data into either a data block or shape table file, or acquire data directly from front-end hardware using an acquisition window. 3. Assign the measurements in the data block, shape table, or acquisition window to DOFs of the structure model. In this tutorial, step 1 will be illustrated by using the drawing tools in Emiscope VES to draw several different structure models. A three-plate beam model using the drawing assistant, a square plate model using points, lines, and surfaces, an I-beam model by extruding a 2D cross-section using the drawing assistant, and a 2D car profile will be traced from a digital photograph. Structure models are drawn using the following types of drawing objects. Points, lines, surfaces, and substructures. A substructure is merely a collection of points, lines, and surfaces. Once it is defined, a substructure can be manipulated just like a point, line, or surface. Complex structure models are more easily built by assembling together several smaller substructures. Structure models are drawn using points, lines, and surfaces. A wireframe, or stick model, consists of points connected by lines. A surface model is a stick model with surfaces added to it. A surface texture, or photorealistic model, has textures added to its surfaces. Shape data is displayed in animation on the structure model by assigning measurement data to DOFs on the model. Therefore, the model should contain at least all of the measured points on the test article. However, if the model contains more points than the measured points, Emiscope VES has built-in interpolation so that shape values at unmeasured points are animated from values at nearby measured and fixed points. To begin drawing a new model, execute File, Project, New. Execute File, New, Structure in the Emiscope VES window to create a new structure file. An empty structure window will open in the drawing state with the draw menu enabled. To choose units for the point coordinates, execute File, Options in the structure window to open the Options dialog box. Click on the Units tab. Choose Units from the Link Units drop down list and click OK. In this case, we have selected Inches. The chosen length units will be displayed in each coordinate column heading in the point spreadsheet, and also in the Drawing Assistant tabs. Structure models with simple geometries are easily built by using the Drawing Assistant. More complex structures can be built by assembling together several substructures, each one built with the Drawing Assistant. To illustrate the use of the Drawing Assistant, we will create a three-plate structure using three flat plate substructures. The top and bottom plates will be created first, followed by the vertical back plate. Execute Draw, Drawing Assistant, in the Structure window. The Drawing Assistant tabs will be displayed above the Substructure spreadsheet on the right side of the window. Also note that the Drawing Assistant tab is available on the toolbar. The bottom plate substructure will be created as a grid of points spaced one unit apart, with 7 points in the width direction and 11 points in the height direction. On the Substructure tab, double-click on the plate substructure from the browser. A vertical plate substructure will be displayed. On the Dimensions tab, enter width equal to 6 and points equal to 7. Enter height equal to 10 and points equal to 11. Next, the vertical plate will be rotated 90 degrees to make it horizontal. On the Position tab, click on the Global button to center the substructure about the global origin. Enter 45 in the Degrees box. Click on the Y up arrow twice to rotate the vertical plate into a horizontal position. The bottom plate will be duplicated to create the top plate of the model. This is done by pasting a copy of the bottom plate into the drawing and changing the vertical or Z position of the copy to position it as the top plate. Execute Edit. Paste objects from file. The Structure File Selection dialog box will open. Select the STR Structure 1 file 
and press the Paste button to paste a copy of the bottom plate into the drawing. On the Position tab, enter 4.5 for the Z coordinate of the local origin. Double click on the Color column heading in the Substructure spreadsheet to open the Color dialog box. Double click on the Surface Color and select a new surface color for the top plate. Next, we will create the back plate substructure as a grid of points spaced one unit apart with seven points in the width direction and seven points in the height direction. On the Substructure tab, double click on the Plate Substructure from the Library Browser. A vertical plate substructure will be displayed as before. On the Dimensions tab, enter width equals 6 and points equals 7. Enter height equals 4.5 and points equals 7. On the Position tab, click on the Global button to center the substructure about the global origin. Enter 2.25 for the Z coordinate and negative 5.0 for the X coordinate of the local origin. The three plate structure model is now complete. A structure model can be displayed in one of four different views, or all four views together in a quad view format. The four different views are x-axis view, y-axis view, z-axis view, and the 3D view. To toggle between the quad view and one of the four single views, double-click on a single view to display the quad view. Double-click on a single view in the quad view to display that view. Interactive rotation of the model in the 3D view is one of the most useful ways of examining structure models, both during model construction and during shape animation. To interactively rotate the model in the 3D view, hold down the right mouse button and drag the mouse pointer in the 3D view. To interactively zoom the model in a view, spin the mouse wheel to zoom in or out on the structure model in the active view. A structure model can be built by adding points to a view, editing their coordinates if necessary, and then adding lines and surfaces between the points. To illustrate this method, we will build a square vertical plate model containing four corner points, four lines, and two surface triangles. Execute File, New, Structure in the Emiscope BES window to open a new structure window. Global axis lines can be helpful in drawing a structure model. Display of axis lines is turned on or off in the Options box of the structure window. Execute File, Options in the Structure window to open the Options box. On the Labels tab, check the Axis Lines box. On the Display tab, make sure that the Z axis is selected as the vertical axis. Click on OK to close the dialog box. To begin drawing the model, Choose Points in the Edit Objects list. Double click in the 3D view to display the quad view. Execute Edit, Add Objects to enable the Add Points function. Move the mouse pointer into the X view and click to add the first corner point near the origin. Please note when the Add Points function is enabled, each time you click on a view, a new point is added to the model. Move the mouse to the next corner of the box and click to add the next corner point. Add the last two corner points of the square to form an approximate square. The four corner points should now be displayed in all four views and their properties listed in the point spreadsheet. Execute Edit, Add Objects again to disable the Add Points function. Most drawing operations are performed on selected drawing objects, or on all objects if none are selected. Selected objects are displayed differently on the model, and their Select Object buttons are depressed in their object spreadsheet. All drawing operations are performed on one type of drawing object at a time. The currently chosen object type is indicated in the Edit, Objects list, which is also displayed on the toolbar. Each type of drawing object has its own spreadsheet where properties can be viewed and edited. 
the Properties spreadsheet for the currently chosen object type is always displayed to the right of the vertical blue splitter bar in the Structure window. This spreadsheet contains the properties of all objects in the drawing of the current object type. To display more of the object spreadsheet, drag the vertical blue splitter bar to the left or execute Display Spreadsheet. There are several ways to select objects of the current object type. Depress its Select Object button in the Object Properties spreadsheet. Hold down the Control key and click near the center of an object in the view to select or unselect it. Enable Click Select or use a selection box. Execute Edit, Select Objects, Click Select to enable Click Select. Execute Edit, Select Objects, Click Select again to disable Click Select. Objects can also be selected by drawing a selection box around them in any view. To draw a selection box, execute Edit, Select Objects, Selection Box to enable the selection box. Move the mouse pointer to one corner of the area where the selection box will be drawn and drag to draw the selection box large enough to enclose the desired objects. Release the mouse button to select all of the objects inside the selection box. To select all objects of the current object type, Double click on the Select Object column heading in the Object Spreadsheet until all buttons are Yes or Execute Edit, Select Objects, Select All. There are several ways to unselect objects of the current object type. Double click on the Select Objects column heading in the Object Spreadsheet until all buttons are No. Execute Edit. Select Objects, Select None. Execute Edit, Select Objects, Selection Box. Hold down the Alt key and draw a selection box to enclose the objects to be unselected. Point coordinates can be edited by entering coordinate values into the point spreadsheet. The coordinates of multiple points can be changed together by first selecting the points and then editing their global X, Y, or Z coordinates using the column editing box on this point spreadsheet. To align the two corner points on the left side of the square in the X view, double click on the X view to display it alone. Enable Edit, Select Objects, Click Select, and click near the upper and lower left corner points in the X view to select them. Double click on the Y coordinate column heading in the point spreadsheet to open the column editing box. Enter a zero into the dialog box and click on OK. To vertically align the two corner points on the right side of the square, unselect all points and click near the upper and lower right corner points to select them. Double click on the Y coordinate column heading again to open the Y coordinate column editing box. Enter a 1 into the dialog box and click on OK. Now the points on both sides of the square should be vertically aligned. Execute Display, Recenter All Views to make all four points visible in all views. To horizontally align the bottom two corner points, Unselect all points and select the lower left and right corner points in the X view. Double click on the Z coordinate column heading to open the column editing box. Enter a zero into the dialog box and click on OK. To align the top two corner points, unselect all points and select the upper left and right corner points in the X view. Double click on the Z coordinate column heading to open the column editing box. Enter a 1 into the dialog box and click on OK. Now the four corner points should form a perfect square. Notice that the points are not aligned properly in the Y view or the Z view. This is because these views have non-zero perspective distances in them. To change the perspective distance in these views to zero, execute Display, 
View Control to open the View Control dialog box. Click on Y View to make it active and display its perspective in the View Control box. Enter 0 into the perspective box. Click on Z View to make it active and change its perspective to 0 as well. Notice that the four points are now aligned in each view where the perspective distance was changed to zero. A line is defined between any two points on a structure model. A line is added by enabling the Add Lines function and clicking near the first endpoint, and then near the second endpoint of the line. To add lines between the four corner points of the square structure model, double click on the X view to display it. Choose Lines in the Edit, Objects list. Execute Edit, Add Objects to enable the Add Lines function. Notice that all of the points are displayed as bold to make them easier to select. Click near a first corner point to select it. Click near a second corner point to select it and create a new line. Repeat these steps to add the other three lines needed to outline the square. Execute Edit, Add Objects again to disable the Add Lines function. Surfaces are defined on the structure model by adding surface triangles or surface quads to it. A surface triangle is defined between three points and a surface quad between four points. To add two surface triangles to the square plate model, choose Surface Triangles in the Edit Objects list. Execute Edit, Add Objects to enable the Add Surfaces function. Click near a first corner point to select it. Click near a second corner point. Click near a third corner point to select it and create a new surface triangle. Repeat these steps to add the second surface triangle that defines the other half of the surface. Execute Edit, Add Objects again to disable the Add Surfaces function. The square plate has been drawn using four points, four lines, and two surface triangles. All of these objects can now be grouped together to define a new substructure. The following rules apply when selected objects are added to a new or existing substructure. The substructure only references the selected object. The objects still exist as unique objects in the structure file. If the selected objects are points, then all of the objects that use the points as endpoints will also be referenced by the substructure. If the selected objects are not points, then their endpoints will also be referenced by the substructure. Substructures cannot reference other substructures. To create a new substructure, choose Points in the Edit Objects list. Execute Edit, Select Objects, Select All to select all points. All of the points, plus the lines and surfaces that reference them, will be referenced by the substructure. Execute Draw, Add Selected Objects to Substructure. The Structure Selection dialog box will open. Press the New Substructure button and click on OK. Notice that Substructures is now chosen from the Edit Objects list, and that the Substructure spreadsheet contains a new substructure named Grouped Objects. To change the substructure label to Square Substructure, Double click on the label column heading to open the label column editing box. Type square substructure into the box and click on OK. Any model in a structure window can be saved in the substructure library and used in the future for building other structure models. Execute File, Save in Library to save the square plate model into your substructure library. Many 3D structures can be modeled by first drawing a 2D profile or cross-section of the structure and then extruding or evolving it into a 3D model. You can often start with one of the editable 2D substructures in the Drawing Assistant substructure library, modify it so that it looks like a 2D cross-section of your test article, and then extrude or evolve it into a 3D model.
To build an I-beam structure model, we will modify an editable plate substructure so that it looks like an I-beam cross-section, and then extrude the cross-section into a 3D beam. Execute File, New, Structure in the Emiscope VES window to open a new structure window. Execute Draw, Drawing Assistant, in the Structure window to display the Drawing Assistant tabs. On the Substructure tab, double-click on the Plate substructure from the browser. A vertical plate substructure will be displayed. On the Dimensions tab, enter Width equals 4 and Points equals 4. Enter Height equals 6 and points equals 6. On the Position tab, click on the Global button to center the substructure about the global origin. Some of the surfaces, lines, and points will be deleted from the plate to make it look like an I-beam cross-section. Choose Points in the Edit Objects list. Execute Edit, Select Objects, Select None to unselect all of the points. Hold down the Control key and click near the two midpoints on each side to select them. Execute Edit, Delete Selected Objects to delete the selected points. A dialog will open asking if you also want to delete the objects using the points as endpoints. Click on Yes to delete the lines and surfaces connected to the selected points. Next, the vertical web of the beam will be narrowed so that it is one-half length units wide. Double-click on the current view to change to the quad view, and then double-click on the 3D view to display it. Execute Edit, Select Objects, Selection Box, and draw a box around the points on the left side of the web to select them. Double-click on the Y-coordinate column header in the Point Spreadsheet and enter negative 0.25 into the column editing box. Repeat these steps, but select the points on the right side of the web and change their Y-coordinate to 0.25. Next, the top and bottom horizontal flanges will also be narrowed to 0.5 length units. Select the bottom row of points on the top flange and change their z-coordinate to 2.5. Select the top row of points on the bottom flange and change their z-coordinate to negative 2.5. With the cross-section complete, the substructure can now be extruded into an I-beam. Execute Draw, Drawing Assistant, to display the Drawing Assistant tabs. On the Extrude tab, enter Length equals 50 and Points equals 10. Press the Extrude button to create the I-beam substructure. By importing a digital photograph of a machine or structure into Emiscope, you can trace a 2D profile from the photograph by placing it in the background of one of the 2D views in the structure window. To set up a new project for tracing from a JPEG file, execute File, Project, Open in the Emiscope BES window, and open the Corvette Profile VT project from the My Documents Emiscope VES folder. Execute File, New, Structure 
in the Emiscope VES window to open a new structure window. Execute File, Options in the Structure window to open the Structure Options box. On the Display tab, select the VET5 JPEG file for the Y view. On the Display tab, check Disable Auto Scaling. Display the Y view in the Structure window. The Corvette car profile should be in the background of this view. A 2D profile of the car body will be drawn by tracing on the photograph of the car. Choose points in the Edit Objects list. Execute Edit Add Object to enable the Add Points function. Move the mouse pointer into the Y view and click on the edge of the red body to add a point. Continue clicking along the edge of the red body to add as many outline points as desired. To add lines to the profile, choose Lines from the Edit Object command list. Execute Edit, Add Objects to enable the Add Lines function. Click near a profile point to select it. Click near an adjacent point to add a new line between the two points. Repeat the two steps until all desired lines are added to the car profile. After tracing of the profile is complete, the photograph can be removed from the background of the Y view. Execute File, Options in the Structure window to open the Structure Options box. On the Display tab, replace VET5 JPEG with None for the Y view. Uncheck Disable Auto Scaling. This profile can now be made into a substructure and extruded into a 3D model of a car. Of course, further modifications will be necessary in order to make it more closely resemble the real car.